So if you guys have been good boys and girls, you should have exactly what I have here. And by good boys and girls, I mean you followed my directions. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do today, we're just going to be working on the View Controller H, and we'll be finishing it. And I'll teach you how to do most of it, and then you can edit it however you like. So right here in the interface, test SB View Controller, we want to add in since we might since you guys might have ads on this you guys want to go in and right here you want to click before after the um right here after UI view controller you want to go here and enter or let's just bring this to the next line bring that there and bring this down the next line and we want to put in left arrow add banner view delegate that they give you a um, choice right there just click it double click it you should have it there close the um, uh, arrows with your right arrow and after the curly bracket you want to go down and then here you want to enter IV outlet space UI button UI but on and after that you want to click enter once again that should be purple but I guess it'll work the same and uh, you want to click it yeah you want to have a star right there or whatever you call that do you call those asterisks? I'm not sure. Um, and you want to uh, you want to finish that with about button. This is that'll this will be your little info button at the top saying created by such and such. And check out my other apps at such and such. And you can write a little uh, you can write whatever you want right there. And let me just cancel this. And uh, you can go into that. And after the about button. Oh yeah, you want to add in a semicolon right here. Yeah, that should do it. And enter once again. And you want to add in the add banner view. Add banner view. Space. Asterisk star, whatever you want to call it. A banner. What you've done here is you've configured a um, you've configured your button, your buttons, and you've also cons uh, configured your um, banner, add banner. So after that, you want to go in after the second curly bracket, and you want to click. You want to type in at property. Space bracket non atomic comma retain and then close bracket next you want to put IB outlet space add banner view asterisk a banner semicolon enter at property once again you're adding another property here and non-atomic comma assign and you want to enter or you don't want to enter, you want to uh, uh, put in bool, B-O-O-L. And then this is this entire section again is just to make sure your banners are, this is all for your banner. So banner is visible. And this is so your banner displays. And now we're going to be adding in the 
IB action buttons. These are going to be all the buttons that you will be putting in so uh, to create the noises as the user presses the button. So um, I'm going to be making my app on, let's say, human animal noises. Okay. So slash uh, open colon IB action. push about and this will be to link this button uh, the about button and this will ma make a lot more sense at when we get into our uh, view controller XIB so uh, push about semicolon enter so now that we've configured the push about button we want to configure all the voice uh, buttons or the soundboard buttons so what we want to do here is make another IB action so uh, open parentheses IB action close parentheses and then push and name it something that you can easily recall something that you can easily associate the sound with so let's say I was making an app for uh, a farm animal noise soundboard so I would put the name as let's say duck push duck and then next I would well after that we want to put a semicolon go down again dash open parentheses IB action push cow semicolon and once again dash open parentheses IB action close parentheses semicolon or sorry no, no semicolon push and we can name it, uh, let's say, horse. So let's, uh, so you can expand on that. You can vary and uh, add as many IB actions as you want, depending on how many buttons you want. And uh, that's about it for this video. So subscribe, like, rate, and comment. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, let's just run this to make sure we have no problems in it. So let's go to the iPhone 4.3 simulator and click run should build it and it runs it and as you can see since it ran there are no problems with the code opens up and you should have a blank gray screen as we haven't really done anything with the screen yet so uh, that's about it for this video subscribe break comment and like thank you guys for watching and good luck